welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Multifamily Investing Insider Blog. I'm Pierre Paul Tejon, Canada's Multifamily Investing Authority, and as you probably know, former CMHC apartment building underwriter and now full time successful investor myself. Uh, today, in this uh, post, I want to answer a question by one of my online students. And by the way, I encourage you to leave comments. Uh, below anytime you want and you know with questions I'd be happy to answer them so but this question is from Jeff and basically Jeff is asking and and it's his question is following up my previous blog post that was called overpaying for apartment buildings what is the right price and in that previous blog post if you haven't watched it go and watch it uh, Jeff found it extremely useful uh, I'm telling you in order to know what price how much to pay for an apartment building you need to have some uh, some understanding of what properties, comparable properties for the type of property and size of property that you selected, what are they trading at in current market conditions, all right? And this is some of the multifamily hacks. I'm sharing all of my hacks when I train people, uh, but this is one of the hacks. If you want to know how, how much properties for the type of property and size that you've chosen are, are trading at, what, what, what are they going for in terms of purchase price, uh, one of the ways that you can do that uh, first of all is to make sure that you're working with a seasoned multifamily realtor because they would have access to sales like that all right so that's one way of doing it so uh, the second component of that uh, might cost you a few bucks but you could easily go to uh, an appraiser that appraises you know ideally that also specializes in uh, you know appraising apartment buildings in your market area and ask them for a list of comps Usually that's part of, uh, not usually, but that's always part of an appraisal. When you pay to get an appraisal, the appraiser will give you a bunch of comps. Now in this case, you don't want to order necessarily a full appraisal uh, because you're just trying to ascertain what properties are trading at or selling for in your current market area. But you could ask the appraiser to give you a list of comps, recent comps, all right? You might have to pay a few bucks well worth it in my opinion, all right? I don't need to pay for those because first of all, I'm an active uh, investor myself in my market area. I know what apartment buildings are trading for, but if you're new to a market, those are two multifamily hacks. So first, ask uh, from a you know, specialized multifamily realtor uh, for comps, comparable sales, and ideally the sales have to be recent within the last year, even uh, you know, more recent than that if possible. Secondly, ask for a um, uh, ask an appraiser to give you a list of comps. So that's to answer Jeff's question and please keep these questions coming. Write me some comments below. I'll do my best to answer your questions on an ongoing basis. But today I wanted to talk to you about uh, where do you find multifamily properties? And I know at the, the risk of sounding like a broken record, not that people listen to records anymore, it's all digital, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, just like I said to in answering Jeff's question, you need to always make sure you're working with multifamily specialists, all right? So when it comes to the time to finding apartment buildings, uh, you know, you, you want to first of all have identified the market that you want to invest in. One of the ways that you can find properties that may, you know, that may come up for sale uh, is maybe to look, drive in your chosen market area and look for apartment buildings that look tired, that look poorly maintained, you know, the grass is long and things like that, that that might be a sign of a tired uh, owner that might want to, um, to sell. So that's my first tip today. If you want to find out, uh, find apartment buildings to buy, you can directly approach some of these uh, current uh, owners and see, because you see that their property is in state of disrepair and approach them and see, would you be willing to sell? All right, so that's one thing. You could also, I've seen lots of people, especially in smaller markets, uh, put ads in newspapers saying, I'm a, an investor looking for apartment buildings to invest in. But by far the easiest way to find uh, apartment buildings for sale is to work with a specialized, seasoned, multifamily realtor, all right? But I gotta, I gotta give you a bit of a warning in that regard. And that's the part, like I said, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but when you work with a specialized multifamily investor, they see novice uh, you know, multifamily investors or people without any prior experience in, you know, in investing in apartment buildings from miles away. They don't wanna waste time with you unless you can prove to them you've done your homework. What do I mean by that? Again, you know, having done your research and planning, uh, phase, which is something I insist a lot in my training programs, right? Uh, 
uh, know what type of property you want to buy, the size of property, where's the money coming from, do you have the money? I always recommend as much as possible uh, that you have the money, the capital that you're going to need to acquire uh, your apartment building in a bank account sitting there a few months in advance because then when you approach a realtor to show you some properties for sale, you know, you look like a professional, you've got all your ducks lined up and you're prepared. That's what's going to open doors. If you, you're not prepared, uh, most you know multifamily realtors that I know may not want to deal with you because they know they don't want to waste time with uh, somebody that's an amateur so those are kind of the ways uh, anything else and and once you find a, a specialized multifamily realtor court these people buy them lunch if you have to but again you're gonna to have to prove that you've been well prepared so that's it for today's blog or vlog if you will a couple more things uh, I'm gonna be in the GTA area very soon in a couple of weeks I'm super stoked I have a workshop in Hamilton uh, November 1st to the 3rd unfortunately you can't come it's sold out I'm super excited uh, I'm super stoked I may have some students who are gonna bring a live deal so look out you know if you're one of my subscribers I'll let you know when I have another workshop dates probably can't promise you but sometime in the spring of 2020 and I probably will have new dates for uh, Vancouver and Edmonton so keep an eye out if you want but as I said uh, you know I'm getting better at this marketing thing and social media and all of that they sell out they're great workshops we have a lot of fun love doing what I'm doing so that's the thing uh, look out for new dates in 2020 but uh, finally I'm going to be at the Wealth Hack Hacker Conference uh, please click below along with Grant Cardone a bunch of friends of mine Erwin Zito so please click below love to see you at uh, the Wealth Hacker Conference take care cheers